In this how-to video, we're going to look at how we create service agreements. Service agreements live in the service management space, and we will use the uh, list page to start the creation. Um, there are two ways to create new service agreement, either by starting with uh, just a blank agreement or by using the wizard. In this case, we will be starting with the blank page. First thing I need to do is to create a meaningful description for the agreement. Once that is in place, um, I will reference the project. Projects are the underlying transaction engine for service agreements and enable us to track costs and generate revenue. I will be picking the service for the Rainbow Hotel project. Furthermore, I'm going to set a service level agreement that indicates how quickly we must respond to breakfix type service orders. Um, I will set a period for the service agreement starting from July 1st and then going into June 30th next year, so a full year. I will be adding a preferred technician, in this case it will be Benjamin Martin and the service responsible. And this will be Alicia. Now with this header information in place, I want to associate some service objects with this agreement. So I'm going to go and pick from a list of service objects. In this case, it's a home theater and um, this home theater, I'm going to attach a template bomb so that I can track any changes that we do to the installation. So I have a service object. I also want to include a couple of service tasks. The first one is an inspection task and the second will be periodic services. Now all the header information is in place, but in order for the service agreement to be really useful, we need to add some lines. So I'm going to add an hour line, and as you can see, Benjamin Martin was selected as the preferred technician. I'm going to relate this one to the service object that I associated it with. I'm going to set the service interval. First, let's pick the service task. These are the periodic services, and I will set the service interval to a monthly visit. I will also add the lines, the number of hours on the prices tab. So I'm going to set five hours for this. I also expect there to be some expenses with this and for Benjamin's sake this will probably be a little bit of transport expenses. I'm gonna associate it with the same service task and set the service interval to monthly. Then I'm going to add a single line of hour for the inspection service task. And this will be not a monthly, but an annual inspection. So with that, I have the information for my service agreement in place.